Did you see Todd and Michael going at it? Uh, no, Todd was crazy before Mom was even grabbed. I tried to talk to him on the phone about a story last week, and he was all over the place. Did you talk to Dad? Uh, well, I left a message. You know how early he goes to sleep. He wakes up so early. Maybe we should just all go over there. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. Do you think that Mercy's going to shoot Mom? Okay, honey. Listen, Nash is putting Bree in the car, so I guess I'll see you over there, okay? Yeah. Is there any more news? No, commercial. Okay. Well, Jess thinks that we should go over to Grandpa's and, and try to get Daddy involved. Yeah. I just, I don't, I don't want to leave the TV. Yeah, you got a radio in the car, don't you? Yeah, you could tune into one of those all news all the time channels, and it's just a few minutes away. You really should be with your family. Hey, baby, don't worry. Your mom's gonna be okay. How do you know that? God, I mean, Marcy has gone crazy. She's got a gun. Marcy would never hurt. Okay, Marcy already has. The cops are there. The FBI is there. Sharpshooters are there. They're surrounding the building. Anything can happen. If I lose my mother... You won't. It's not gonna happen. Todd, it's me, and I know that you're upset, but you have got to stay calm, all right? Just call me. Call me, please. He didn't pick up. I hope he's not strangling that reporter. What's she doing now? No, they're still on commercial break. Well, did she explain why Vicky was there in the first place? I mean, at the, at the diner? Mm. Not a word, though. I'm sure Vicky will be happy to fill us in on all the details. Yeah, if Marcy doesn't shoot her first. <laughs> Marcy's not going to shoot her. I mean, you know, that's just something people do when they're desperate. Well, that's right. Shoot people. No, they say they're going to shoot people because they're not desperate, but then they, they, they calm down and, uh, you know, back down. God, it must be climbing the walls to know that his son is like 50 feet away from him inside that building and he can't even get to him. Yeah, I hope there's somebody there who can calm him down. <laughs> Whatever it takes, Thomas. Look, I know you got food and water in there. You need anything else? What I need, John, is a car and a driver, and he better be unarmed. Car and a driver? Why? Are you going someplace? I'm going to the airport, John. Okay, so I need a charter, and then, and then the gas tank better be big enough to take us wherever I want it to take us. And, and I need two, two new passports, and, 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 and the, the, the pilot needs clearance because I am not filing a flight plan. Do you hear me? That's not the answer, Marcy. Just do it, John! Just do it! What does she want? The impossible. You want something? I'm going to make some more coffee. <laughs> you want the plane? Can you work on the car and the driver, see about the passports? Hold on, am I missing something? You're gonna meet her demands? Yeah. You got a problem with that? 